Well, suddenly we've encountered the mist right on the ocean here. It's quite strange, but still warm and uh, even a nice breeze. By the time we'd walked to the beach area, a thick mist had descended and it was like a wholly different day and place. Believe it or not, this was shot exactly 15 minutes after the last shot on the cathedral tower. Not only the mist, but also the wind suddenly got up. It was still warm. It just felt strange, like what happened. Look at the flags. Nate had bought a bucket of snails, but they were disappointing. So we sat and watched the strange mist. I've never seen anything like it. It was so quick to come. The wind too. Visibility was down to a couple of hundred yards. The Santa Catalina Castle will be our next destination. In the meantime, we are praying the mist will disappear just as quickly as it came. Having said that, it did make for unusual shots. We were just sitting here for half an hour and already the outlook has changed. Our prayers were answered. We still had a nice breeze, but the sea mist disappeared just as quickly as it came. This shot is 27 minutes later. So it's deep fried squid with a bread roll and a drink. as we continue to enjoy the Mediterranean sunshine. Then on to the castle. The Santa Catalina Castle was built by Felipe II after the Anglo-Dutch looting of 1596. It's star-shaped with two bastions and surrounded by a moat. It's a World Heritage Site and admission is free. So we had a look around. The chapel was built a hundred years after the castle. In the grounds, several pieces of modern art. It was an interesting and enjoyable place to look around. Over 400 years of history, a beautiful place with great views and history all around. Nate particularly enjoyed it. It was to Cadiz that the vast treasure that supported the Spanish Empire arrived in treasure galleons which at the time became targets of 
thieves who wanted to steal from thieves. As my famous namesake wisely discerned, the love of gold is a root of all kinds of evil, and some people eager for money wandered from their faith to get it. Here their names were Felipe and Elizabeth, hardly setting a good example, actually encouraging it, abusing one of the most important tenets of their faith, namely the good example of their adherence. Everybody wanted gold, and Queen Elizabeth I of England wanted her share. Thus Cadiz was a well sought after place in the late 16th century. In fact, England and Spain were constantly fighting one another at that time. And Cadiz and nearby Spanish cities were venues for many a battle. I love history and uh, places like this always fascinate me. Come to think of it, this castle would never have been built were it not for the English. Now there's a profound thought. So we head back to this ship, walking around the coast. A beautiful walk through history and gardens. The sounds of waves lapping on the shore. enveloped by aesthetic elegance. Reminders of the past all around as we strolled along the deserted promenade. unchanged for centuries. Then back onto the ship to prepare for dinner. In no time, we were sailing away with our memories of another engrossing day in Spain and the intriguing city of Cadiz, perhaps the oldest settled city in Western Europe with 3,000 years of history. Next stop, the iconic Rock of Gibraltar.
Coming up on Exion, Gibraltar, the gateway to the Mediterranean. A British territory between Spain and Africa. An unusual destination, fascinating, intriguing, historical. And then there's the rock, up the cable car. past the monkeys, and a sight to behold. It was a wow moment, with spectacular views. This was the highlight of the whole trip.